deification of life is a terrible hypocrisy. To go into church and say, oh, I'm safe. This is the sanctuary of the Lord, the sanctuary of the Lord. And then to go out and to commit murder and adultery and uh, engage in idolatry and social injustice. That's a double life. God is not happy with that. That's what we hear in today's first reading. Strange but wonderful things happened in 14th century Europe. Bridget of Sweden had a wonderful husband called Ulf. By their mid-30s, they already had eight children. Pretty good. But God had further plans, big plans. Another stage of life. The catalyst was a pilgrimage on foot to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. That famous Camino made even more popular by the 2010 Martin Sheen movie, The Way. Penitential pilgrimage. And upon returning to Sweden, Bridget and Ulf decided to spend all their vast inheritance founding a double monastery one for men and one for women adjacent to each other on the same campus. We sometimes seem senior high schools like that. Ulf died before it could come to fruition, but uh, Bridget went on uh, to uh, live to the age of 70. And she made another pilgrimage to Rome where she tried to reform the ever-corrupt Roman culture. You might say that she submitted to the word planted in her, today's gospel. Why is she a saint? Well, for that reason, yes. But she was also a game-changer in the culture in which she lived. She heard the message of Jeremiah denouncing social injustice and idolatry. When the rich don't know how to use their riches to serve God, someone has to show them the way. And when the rich and famous set a good example of generosity in the service of God, everyone sits up and takes notice. This generosity brings about conversion of heart in others. Today, in the world of Western culture, we need some spectacular conversions among the rich and famous. So much good can come from it. Those to whom much has been given, much will be expected of them. Just think, Saint Mick Jagger, Saint Paul McCartney. The list goes on. We should make a list and pray for these people. While there's life, there's hope. 